Hello everyone and welcome to the Final Cut Final Tip here at McMinnville Community Media. Now within the last couple months we upgraded our edit suite to Final Cut Pro 10 and I'm going to talk a little bit about setting up your project with the new software. So first with Final Cut Pro 10 we no longer have what is known as scratch disks. And this was a great tool in Final Cut 7 and previous versions because you could create a self-contained location for your video project. Now with the update 10.1 for Final Cut Pro 10, it's again possible, but phrased a bit differently. A library as it's known now is basically a created folder to hold all of our project information. So the first thing we need to do when opening Final Cut Pro 10 is to create a library by going to File, New, New Library. And we're going to place this container in our designated folder. Now after we name it, it's going to automatically create a new icon and label it in our browser window. And we can also make note that it does create a subfolder with the date. We could rename this folder to whatever we want, but this is what's known as an event. An event is just that, another subfolder containing assets. For instance, we had a library called Safety PSA. We could name an event folder Firehouse Shoot to store our Firehouse recordings and create another event folder called Police Station for recorded files during our visit to the police station. We would just import our videos into each event. Lastly, before editing, we have what's known as a project. This is what we called a sequence in previous versions of Final Cut. So let's make one of those again by going to File, New, but this time, new project. Basically, you can think of a project as a timeline where we do our editing. We can have multiple projects for different edited stories. And these projects all appear in whatever event folder we created them in. So remember, a library is your main data container that holds all of your events. An event contains projects for editing, as well as assets to work with. Thanks for joining me on this Final Cut 10 introduction, and I'll see you on the cutting room floor.